Ethiopian restaurant with Ethiopian food and on uh, the train. <laughs> Hi guys, Ray here. Um, it's Sunday. Wife and I are really, really hungry and we don't know what to eat. And we just parked here to spot a Ethiopian restaurant. And we were like, okay, since we're having this channel, let's just try and review Ethiopian food. And yeah, let's we see. We have to wait. We have to wait. <laughs> and I think they're opening soon. I think they should be open soon. So we will check and see if it's open and we're going to eat. Oh, it seems to be open. They open the door. Oh, we get oh, outside they're... as well. Yeah, but it's pretty cold. If you want. Eh, no, 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 no. I want it warm. <laughs> okay, Thank let's you. go. traditional it's really traditional so we got the card yeah this looks like we're going to get seems like a plate for two with a lot of different Ethiopian food let's check the card like always salads really different salads We are pretty unprepared right now because we're just hungry, want to stop by somewhere so I will have to discover what is what. But we're going to start with the, I think I saw it outside on the, on the menu card outside that there's like this plate for two, which I showed you in the beginning. And oh, they have original coffee, I might try this as well. Okay. So in the meantime we ordered a plate for two people which consists of um, beef pieces and lamb pieces which uh, also it has uh, mashed paprika, mashed garlic, mashed onion and curry and we get the Ethiopian bread as well together so we will we are waiting now for our order and me and my wife are going to try it. So we ordered the Ethiopian honey wine and he, I've been told <laughs> that the Ethiopian way of drinking is to not grab it like the European style like this but to grab it like this so I will also try to drink it like this <laughs> it's not usual but <laughs> I will drink it and try it so I'm, I'm grabbing it like this I'll, I'll try it oh it's really good really? I can't even drink it properly <laughs> Uh, it's like it's so sweet you don't even taste it like it's alcohol or anything it's really light and nice and sweet i like it so the honey wine was the ethiopian tej we ordered one moment we ordered here the plate for two with kevot alecha atkil and aib so from my understanding as far as i remember kevot is the beef uh, ajib is the fresh cheese uh, Begwat is the lamp and Alecho is... I don't remember but uh, pretty much it says here the beef pieces and uh, lamb pieces and so on in mild sauce and this is how it looks like so we're waiting for this this is for four people which is a little bit too much for us but this is how it's going to look as soon as they finish cooking so we are alone here and now we are the first one I think it's usually pretty full but here this is the style of the restaurant looks really really good here the picture and here we also see where they have this coffee ceremony I'm not sure if they're going to have it or not but yeah it's really really um, traditional restaurant mm. yeah, it's Okay. 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 Well, that's the reason for Ethiopian food to eat with fingers. Uh, in other Austrian restaurants, it's not allowed, sadly. But you grab the bread, you pick what you want, or you mix it all together, and you grab it from the top, and then you put it in your mouth. So here we have the beef, the lamb, 
and the cheese and yeah, I think these are two lambs here this is should be the beef and yeah nice vegetables now let's see and try so I will try to eat it the right way so here we take a little bit of the bread I'll take it yeah this should be a good amount uh, let's start with the beef here we grab this I think I need a bit bigger bread <laughs> okay here like this so here then we take the beef we take the cheese a little bit how much I can grab <laughs> we take uh, I'm not sure if I can separate it or put it together just put uh, it together yeah, let's, let's try it this way then I'll add the rest mm. a little bit spicy a little bit yeah you can taste a little bit of curry I can't tell how it, it reminds me of, I can't tell what it reminds me of, but the bread is really, really soft. It's a little bit salty. Oh yeah, now it's getting sour. It's getting really sour, probably because of the cheese. But overall, it, it's good. I'm actually surprised. It's good. I like it. So I'm going to take another piece of bread here, and we're going with the lamb. So this was the beef. The beef is actually really soft. Let's see how the lamb tastes like. I'm going to take a little bit of cheese. The cheese is pretty sour. It really takes over the taste a lot. So I'm not going to take that much. I don't remember what is this. I'll take it. Oh, this is the onion. Seems like to be the onion. And let's try it. Right. Mm. I actually think the lamp is a little bit better. Mm. Mm. Well, the onion. I usually like onion. That's really good. And we put a bit of potato ah, I like the mix I like the mix a lot I think I'm going to avoid the cheese it's it, it's pretty sour mm, I think without the cheese I, my personal taste is going to taste way better but yeah the overall combination of the bread and with everything together in, in one 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 time putting in my mouth like everything together it's really really good, nice I like this I like this a lot so the bread tastes like a lot it has a lot of wheat uh, this this corn thing which makes it um, not like white bread, but more like this wheat healthy bread. I think the combination with all this makes it actually really healthy food. So yeah, we're going to try another beef one. I like the beef one a lot as well. Mm, let's see what I can combine it with. We're going to take this. salad, please. Uh, yeah, the salad. Okay, let's take a bit of salad. <laughs> I'm not really sure if I'm holding it properly, but at least it's in my mouth. So. <laughs> I think it's actually not onion. <laughs> Sometimes hard to tell if it's new food and potato. Hmm. Without the cheese, I like it better without the cheese. Some mm -hmm. people like it sour. In this case, I don't. But yeah, it, it tastes really good. And the more you eat, the more you discover how something tastes. And this bread is so unique. It's actually falling apart in my mouth. So I have to always take a little bit more to actually taste some bread here. Um, if people are wondering why don't you eat the carrot, I don't really like the carrot. <laughs> I usually don't like carrots, so yeah. Mm. yeah. It's really good, really nice. Without the cheese. My wife doesn't like the cheese as well, it's really sour. So the cheese here, we tried it like a single, we just took a bit and tried it. It's actually not sour. We discovered later it's actually the bread being really sour. We're not really sure if that's normal. But it's pretty sour <laughs> so yeah we're going to continue to eat with the bread but hmm, we were we were never really expecting a sour bread but i mean so as, you if you eat if you don't eat too much bread and you eat with the meat <coughs> it's actually completely fine you just eat the meat and, and the vegetables really kill the taste but if you eat too much bread it, it gets pretty sour so in the menu card they didn't really explain what it is they didn't really say they're going to add it but this is not onion it's really just cabbage Nothing else, really softly cabbage. cooked cabbage. So we both like it. It's a little bit sour, but not as sour as the bread. Um, so we, for me it's sour. Okay. <laughs> She's judging. She is judging. So yeah, we are almost getting full. We're almost getting finished a little bit more and the plate is gone. So we are finishing our food. We just left most of the bread here. 
and I'm finishing my oh yeah grab it like this I'm finishing the looks like from fantasy movie the potion it's going to turn me into an animal or something <laughs> and yeah so yeah learn to hold it the right way and this one I'm surprised how good it is so yeah lovely food so this was our experience with Ethiopian food uh, we were happy we were full uh, the only thing was the sour bread which we didn't really like but yeah we're going now home to feed our baby uh, waiting for us and thanks for watching and we'll see each other next time